Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like a hot minute. I always say this when I leave for like one month or something like that but yeah I am what should I I don't know I'm just getting my mojo back so today I have an event so I was like oh my god it would be so nice to vlog since I haven't like posted anything on my channel in like a month oh my god that was like a long ass time so I was just like you know what let, let me just do this let me just do this so my friend is launching her book today I'm always running late I was just about to say I'm running late but I'm still doing this it starts at 3 30 and it's currently 3 o'clock I don't have my research but it's 3 o'clock at the moment I'm not sure it would take me 30 minutes to get to the island though but <laughs> We'll try it and yeah I'm just trying to get the location now actually the book name is um, now we unlearn it's basically a collection of poems I'm so proud of Tomilala and you know how far she's come and whatnot so I'm very excited about today anyways 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 I don't know my way there so I'm just going to punch in the address and yeah I would see you guys when I get there. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to vlog because I'm like late. It starts at 3.30, no African time. Everyone would have been seated by then. So I don't know how it would feel like whipping out my camera and... Oh God, this is too much for me to handle. Um, speed space. Oh God, oh please, I don't want to lose. So... I will see you guys when I get there. Bye guys. Just got here guys. I'm like super late. <laughs> oh my god. This is speed space. Oh shit. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm very well. Tell me, your phone has locked. Hi, I a little bit about Tommy just in case you don't know. Tommy Lola Vanna is a lawyer and a poet. She was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria. She has a bachelor's of law degree from the University of Bradford and a master's degree in corporate law from the University of Cambridge. So she's kind of a whiz kid, right? Yep. <laughs> she's an auntie to two nieces and two nephews. And when she's not working hard as a lawyer or writing poetry, Super. she enjoys long walks on the beach and playing Scrabble. Now We Unlearn is her first collection of poetry, and it took her two years to complete, but it's 27 years in the making. So this second song is mine. Um, it's called Ile, and it plays with the theme of the evening. Ile, come in. Thank you for that. But I said no. 
I had just renewed my vows with God, but he climbed on top of me. Breathing heavily, I tried to stop him, but he was heavy. I said no, but he was so heavy. With tears in my eyes, I lay there still, finished. He wiped the tears away. Apologized that he only just stepped on my toe. Said those magical three words. I was about to take his last name. So maybe he owned my body. Miss to his missus. Sometimes I don't believe in God. No, that's wrong. I believe in God. I just don't know if he loves me. I suppose I've never known if anyone loves me. Except my mother, but that doesn't count. Moms are supposed to love you. But God, I don't know. There's something so unloving about someone who can take all my all of my pain away in a second, but doesn't. But I'm a Nigerian Christian. I'm not supposed to say these things out loud. Conversations with God, too. Love is not black or white. I know. Love between two consenting adults can't be wrong. You know what's wrong? One woman hurting another woman. One sister hurting another sister. For that, I am guilty. But I cannot have him without hurting her. And my God, I want him. <laughs> Page 83. I've always gone into it for the wrong reasons. One, looking for my father. Two, trying to be my mother. Three, boredom. Four, I want to get married by 25. Five, he said the right things. Six, he wanted the labels. Seven, I wanted the labels. Eight, trying to get over someone else. Nine, trying to be everyone else. Ten, mm, it seemed like a challenge. Eleven, I liked the challenge. Twelve, sex. Thirteen, I hated being alone. Fourteen, my best friends were just too busy. Fifteen, I just wanted someone to love me. All the reasons I went into a relationship. <laughs> so page 24 of now we'll learn. Anna went looking for an Ethiopian. She didn't find her. So we went looking for Mr. Magic to replace the life with anti flow. We committed murder, abortion. Okay, trust me to start with abortion, like, come on, you go see. <laughs> okay, we want to talk to us a little bit about that before we go on? Yeah, okay, so when I read that poem, I remember like a friend of mine said to me, do you want to put that in? He said, tell me about an abortion. And I was like, no, I haven't actually had an abortion, but lots of me, women have. And, you know, I'm actually just tired of everybody shaming women. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, so when I wrote this, the experience I felt was, I had a friend who had an abortion. But we did it together in my head because you know I contributed to the money. I was there with you know for we had the entire process. And obviously being a Christian as well, so when everything was done, like I told my friend because I'm pro. It's, it's difficult. This is what I'm saying because I'm pro choice, but then I'm pro Christ. It's hard <laughs> when you're both at the same time. So you know someone says I made the decision to take out this baby, and I and she's my friend, so I had to support my friend. And I went through the process with her, did everything with her. But when everything was done and I was in my house, I was like, jeez, we committed mother. Like, that's how I felt. So this is, it's like, I never showed any hesitation. We went looking for Mr. Magic. So it wasn't an hesitation. I didn't really think, so it was, it's, it's almost a struggle because I didn't hesitate to follow her to look for Mr. Magic. 
we looked for everything, one after pill, the pill you need to get, there's only a doctor's prescription, doctors don't want to write prescription, so they're like, okay, you can get it for 25k, they're like, oh no, you know, you bleed so much, you can get, you can do, you can do all that in life as a quack, so we went through the entire process, so I'm not making this, you know, we went through the process. We even looked online, there was nothing we didn't do, and this is a friend who didn't live in Nigeria. She lived in a Muslim country, so she had to come from a Muslim country to Nigeria to do it because if they are caught at the Otoni. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it, it was a struggle. So it wasn't a me thing, but I felt like I did as, as, just as much as she did. That's how I felt. Now! So we are finally, finally done. Hey Chris, do you want to say hi? Say hi to my tweenie. We used to be twins, but <laughs> we came to Nigeria. And <laughs> I can't believe this was like yet. such a long time ago. We can't even make it. But anymore. yeah, this is my very good friend Twini. He's so pretty. Jennifer is literally dragging me to this um, weird, awkward, social kind of vlogging lifestyle. And she loves it. She doesn't just. I'm not really. <laughs> Just cause um, I have to humble myself so that she doesn't actually kill me. But hi, Jennifer's people. Anywho, so my camera battery died and I'm back to using my iPhone. So anywho, anywho, so we just got done from Tommy's book launch. Now we're on learn and it was so, so good. Like, it was honestly good. How did you feel about it? Yeah, it was really good. You know, sometimes like I, this is like the second book launch I'm coming to, and people, you know, I don't, I won't say it's what amazes me because I know that we eventually get to this point after a period of time, and because healing has actually taken place. He also yeah. told me she was in her element. She was when she killed me when she said, um, "I like attention, but this." So I'm like, "Oh, girl, please, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine." But yeah, it was good. But yeah, it she was, was so so open, like literally so vulnerable, and I just applaud her for because even me in my i was just like i was cringing like oh my gosh <laughs> she put that out there it was it was actually really good but yeah she did real well as time goes by i'm going to read like a couple poems or maybe all of the poems i'm not even sure how i'm going to do it but i'll let you guys in on some of the poems that she wrote that i find really really interesting and i feel like there'll be a lot the poems, of aspects yeah the, the poems are very relatable so yeah low key high key i'll just put you guys on it and yeah another day like she said now we will learn it's actually yeah. time to unlearn a lot of things <laughs> and unburden and just you know, let go so well done to me yeah Good well one. done girl anywho i'm going to talk more about the book in my next video or next two videos in her <laughs> i'm going to see you guys in my next video we're on our way home now hopefully i don't get lost again i always get lost anytime i come to the island even hopefully. when i use my google map it's just ridiculous but yeah, guys. Anyway, is here now. You exactly. Won't, she, she's not gonna life. get. She's not gonna make me get lost. You know. I'm so, a try, anyhow. girl. I'm See you guys try. in my next.